Here's another example of using the zero product rule to solve a quadratic equation. The problem is, I want to find all solutions for s in the equation s squared plus quantity s plus 6 squared equal to 68. Now, instead of just jumping into the problem, we put down a checklist if we have one. So here, if I want to solve a quadratic equation using the zero product rule, first step, I want to simplify our equation. So we'll put everything on one side. We try to get it into the form x squared plus bx plus c equals zero. Of course, here we're using s instead of x. If I can do that, then we factor if possible. Okay, first step there would be to factor out the greatest common factor. Then to apply the zero product rule, what does that say? That says if I have a product of numbers equal to zero, then at least one of those numbers was equal to zero. So here we're going to take each factor from part two, set it equal to zero, solve, and that's how we get our solutions. Of course, we always check our work. Okay, so we do that by going back into the original equation with our solutions, see if we need to do any troubleshooting. Now, we take our equation, we go through our list. So I have s squared plus quantity s plus 6 squared equal to 68. The s plus 6 squared, okay, this is nothing special to deal with. Note, this just says take s plus 6, multiply it by itself. So you can either figure that out using FOIL, that'll give s squared plus 12 s plus 36, or you use the perfect square formula for that. Either way, this is nothing to be frightened of. Now, that gives me, okay, we have s squared plus this term squared, we work that out, and then the 68 we push to the left-hand side, which gives me minus 68, all of that equal to zero. We simplify this part, and we get 2s squared plus 12s minus 32 equals zero, that takes care of part one. For part two, I want to factor the left-hand side. I look for greatest common factor, which will be equal to two. So I could pull that out. That leaves s squared plus 6s minus 16. I need to use our factoring rules to make sense of this. Now, the lead coefficient's a one, so I don't need to go to the AC method. We could do this mostly by observation. We know it. I have a equal to 1, b equal to 6, c equal to minus 16, so that's less than 0. That means our sign pattern is going to be plus minus. Then I'm looking for products of 16, okay, factors that multiply to 16, that have their differences equal to 6. Okay, differences because we have 1 plus, 1 minus. If we go through 16, okay, you have 1 and 16, 2 and 8. 2 and 8 is going to work. If I take 8 minus 2, I get 6. And so our factors are going to be s plus 8, s minus 2. We move to the next step. We set each factor equal to 0. So we just divide through by 2 or just ignore it. We have s plus 8 equals 0, s minus 2 equals 0. So our solutions are minus 8 and 2. Now, we always check our work. If I take s equal to minus 8 in the original equation, I have 64 plus 4 is equal to 68, so that checks out. If I have s equal to 2, I have 4 plus 64 equals 68, and that checks out also. So our final answer, we put in braces, minus 8, comma, 2. 